Well, it is Euro match day, but we start with breaking news because Jack Wilshire has announced that he is retiring from the game. It's a, a very lengthy Twitter statement, but uh, there's just a simple headline that says, I've lived my dream, thank you all. Mark McAdam has stayed with us on set, knows Jack, has watched him for, for obviously a very long time. We'll get into that in a moment. I'm just going to pick out a couple of the, the things that he's mentioned in this statement, saying, I'm announcing my retirement from playing professional football. It's been an unbelievable journey journey filled with so many incredible moments. I feel privileged to experience all I did during my career from being a little boy kicking a ball around in the garden to captaining my beloved Arsenal and playing for my country at a World Cup. I have lived the dream. He says, in truth, it's been difficult to accept that my career has been slipping away in recent times due to reasons outside of my control whilst feeling I still have so much to give. Having played at the highest level, I've always held such huge ambitions within the game. And if I'm truthful, I did not envisage being in this position at this time. He's talked about having time to reflect, chatting to people close to him. Um, he, he talks about FA Cups, um, captaining his club, representing his, his country. He chats about the good fortunes, the highlights. He does highlight lots of people he's worked with, his friends, um, lots of people uh, as well. He's thanking coaches from, from his senior career. Uh, go on to his Twitter. It's a, it's a really lovely statement. I'm sure we'll, we'll have a little bit more on this uh, later. Uh, he, he ends by saying, to the best supporters on the planet, all of you Arsenal fans, thank you from the bottom of my heart. To play for you all has been a privilege. You've always made me feel supported. I hope I did you proud representing your club. I'll never forget how you always backed me and I'll forever be a gooner. Uh, it, there is another page. It does go on. He talks about dark um, times, about not wanting to get out of bed, struggling to keep going. It, it's a really interesting, quite heartfelt, and actually quite sad statement, even though he's had so many happy times, because he's just 30 years old. He probably wasn't ready to give up playing football, is, is what I can read from this statement. I guess this is the time you have to sit back, reflect, and, uh, and look ahead, isn't it? This has probably been a decision that's been in the making for some time, of mm. course. Jack Wilshire was one of those young players that exploded onto the scene as a 16-year-old. I remember watching him at 16 years old playing for the Arsenal Reserves at Underhill at Barnet back in the day. Uh, it was one of those games that stood out for me because Arsene Wenger turned up, which he often did to watch the reserve side. And it was a performance that I will remember for the rest of my life because this young lad, only pint size in size, mm -hmm. but a low centre of gravity, someone that wanted to get on the ball, someone that took responsibility through the middle of the park. And he scored this fantastic goal that went into the mm -hmm. top corner. And I remember immediately turning to Arsene Wenger, who was on my right-hand side uh, in the director's box and looking, and, and he was smiling. And everyone in the stand mm -hmm. looked back at the Arsenal gaffer. Had you just seen that? Had you seen that goal? Had you seen that performance? And from then, I followed his career for, for a number of years. He got into the first team. He had a huge impact. He was a part of that, that core of young English players that have come through the Arsenal Academy and made their name on the big stage in the Premier League. And, of course, he was a, a big part of what Arsenal did for a number of years. I think that performance in the Champions League at Barcelona will be one of those that will always stand out as being particularly special with regards to, to Jack Wilshire. He scored a number of high-profile, fantastic mm -hmm. goals and was the heartbeat of that team for so long. He struggled with injuries at time, which is probably where he's referring to the dark places as well. But he always seemed to reignite his career. I remember being down at Bournemouth on deadline day in 2016 when they signed him at the end of the summer. He had a huge impact down on the South Coast. He was a much-loved member of the squad uh, and he was just brilliant to be around. Mm. This is one of the goals that I think will always be the most iconic one. I did an interview with him not long ago where we spoke about his mental health and we spoke about his career and I said to him, what's the one goal that people talk to you about? Mm -hmm. It's that goal against Norwich. That's the one thing that they still stop him in the street and talk about because it's one of those iconic, memorable Premier League goals. Mm -hmm. um, and, and like you say, he had a fantastic impact at Bournemouth. He's been brilliant in and around uh, the young lads of Arsenal recently. Yeah. Whilst he was at Bournemouth on loan for that season, that's when he started his coaching badges. I went down to watch him and a number of other first-team players uh, just in involved with the youngsters, involved yeah. with the community, involved with those players that were coming through. And you just look at the faces of the young kids looking up to him and saying, this is Jack Wilshire, an England international, an Arsenal legend, and he's now coaching me. So you could see very early on that he had the inspiration and the ideals to become a coach as well. He had the opportunity as well later on. Um, West Ham didn't work out, 
but I think he will be very fondly remembered by Arsenal fans as, as a true academy project that, that went on to live the dream. Uh, a great player, a great man, a big family man. And I'm excited to see what he does now with his coaching and with his media work. Mm, absolutely. Uh, within just a few minutes, he's already had 6,000 likes, 2,000 reach. It just keeps going, this, this, this really heartfelt statement he's released um, after retiring at the age of just 30 years old. I'll have a bit more reaction to Jack Wilshere and, yeah, wishing him all the best in whatever he chooses to do next. And I'm sure, as, as you said there, maybe coaching will be the route for him.